Kamala Harris has made history by becoming the first woman and woman of color to serve as Vice President of the United States. During her groundbreaking career, she held prominent positions as a U.S. Senator and the Attorney General of California. Come, let's discover the life of Kamala Harris. Hello everyone, you've landed at Loomis Mart. Let's take a look at the success story of Kamala Harris, former Vice President of the USA. Early Life and Education Kamala Harris was born on October 20, 1964, to a black Stanford University professor and a Tamil Indian mother who worked as a doctor. At the age of seven, her parents got divorced. At the age of 12, she, her mother, and her sister Maya relocated to Montreal. Harris's dream job as a student at Quebec's Westmount High School was to become a lawyer. After graduating, she went back to the United States and enrolled at Howard University in Washington, D.C., where she studied political science and economics and graduated with a B.A. She then returned to California, where she was born, and enrolled in the University of California Hastings College of Law, where she graduated with a J.D. in 1989, early career. Harris started her career in 1990 as an Alameda County Deputy District Attorney after being admitted to the State Bar of California. In 1998, she became Managing Attorney of the San Francisco District Attorney's Office's Career Criminal Unit, and in 2000, she was appointed Chief of its Community and Neighborhood Division, where she established the state's first Bureau of Children's Justice, San Francisco District Attorney. In 2003, Harris won against Terrence Hallinan, her former boss, to become the district attorney for San Francisco. She was the first black woman to hold this position. In her first three years, San Francisco's conviction rate increased from 52% to 67%. Her accomplishments in this post include launching the Back on Track campaign, which reduces recidivism by providing job training and other educational programs to low-level offenders. Harris, on the other hand, came under criticism for keeping a campaign pledge and refusing to seek the death penalty for a gang member convicted of killing a police officer, Isaac Espinoza, in 2004. California Attorney General In November 2010, Harris became the first woman and the first Black and South Asian American Attorney General of California, defeating Los Angeles County District Attorney Steve Cooley in a close battle. Harris established Open Justice, an internet portal that provides the general public with access to criminal justice data. By recording the number of deaths and injuries among people detained by the police, the database has contributed to increased police accountability. She was also in charge of establishing Operation Boo, a mandatory curfew for all homeless sex offenders on Halloween. U.S. Senator for California Harris became the first South Asian American to the United States Senate when she defeated Loretta Sanchez in 2016. Harris has since joined the Chamber's Homeland Security and Governmental Affairs Committee, Select Committee on Intelligence, Committee on the Judiciary, and Committee on the Budget, in addition to introducing legislation to provide access to urban outdoor recreation areas and providing financial relief in the face of increasing housing costs she has advocated for a single-payer healthcare system. In addition, Harris has gained notoriety from her position on the Judiciary Committee, notably for her sharp questions of high-profile witnesses like then-U.S. Attorney General Jeff Sessions and Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh. The presidential campaign. January 21, 2019, Harris declared her candidacy for president in 2020. One of the leading Democratic contenders, Harris entered a race to unseat President Donald Trump after one term. Harris officially launched her campaign in front of an estimated 20,000 supporters in Frank Ogawa Plaza in Oakland, California, one week after making her announcement on GMA. During the first Democratic primary discussion in late June, Harris made a name for herself by challenging Joe Biden on his prior opposition to federal busing for school integration. Harris was one of the debate's best performers. During the second debate the following month, she became the target of criticism from Biden and the other participants, who criticized her health care plan and other aspects of her record as California Attorney General. By 2019, Harris's popularity began to decline in the polls. Seeking to regain her prominence, 
she advocated for Trump's impeachment due to his actions with Ukraine and placed a strong emphasis on women's availability of reproductive health care. Harris declared early in December 2019 that her once promising presidential campaign was coming to an end. Joe Biden's vice presidential running mate. On August 11, 2020, presidential hopeful Joe Biden declared that Harris, his previous opponent, would be his running mate. Harris is the first black woman and person from South Asia nominated for national office by a major political party. She is also the fourth woman in history to compete for a major party's presidential ticket. 2020 Vice Presidential Debate on October 7, 2020, a week after a very contentious vice presidential debate between Biden and Trump, Harris and Mike Pence had a far more pleasant debate. Nonetheless, Harris kept the heat on her opponent by repeatedly criticizing his administration's handling of the coronavirus, which had resulted in over 210,000 American deaths to that point, as well as Republican attempts to rush the confirmation of Supreme Court nominee Amy Coney Barrett shortly before Election Day. Harris also rejected Pence's claims that President Biden would ban fracking and instantly raise taxes, and she defended her own record as California Attorney General. 2020 Election Win After winning Pennsylvania on November 7, 2020, four days after Election Day, Biden was named the 46th president-elect, making Harris the first Asian-American and Black woman to hold the position as well as the first female vice president. On December 14, 2020, all 538 electors in the Electoral College voted, officially confirming Biden's victory over President Trump in the 2020 presidential election. Trump won 232 votes, while Biden received 306. Books Harris began publishing books, Superheroes Are Everywhere, a memoir in picture book form for children, and The Truths We Hold, an American Journey, which examines her personal relationships and upbringing. She published her first book, Smart on Crime, A Career Prosecutor's Plan to Make Us Safer, in 2009, which delves into her philosophy and ideas for criminal justice reform. In conclusion, during her career in public service, Kamala Harris has held numerous firsts, including being the first Black woman, first woman, and first South Asian American elected to state attorney general and U.S. senator, among other government offices. Her path represents a blend of liberal and centrist ideas. So, what do you think about Kamala Harris? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Hang on with our channel to watch the upcoming interesting video.